Hey coaches, this is Brian and I have been getting this question from time to time with graduates and um, other coaches, to be honest, with their ACC and PCC applications, a little bit of confusion. Once you have completed a level one or level two training completely to where you hold that certificate from the training organization, whether it's mine or another, uh, and you have your hours that you need in order to apply to the ICF for the credential you're after, how do you make sure you are on the right path? I regularly get coaches that might say, hey, am I supposed to submit the recordings? It's asking for recordings. So we'll look real quick. There's a, a spot in the application process that is just a little confusing. And when you get onto the ICF's website, let me expand this. There we go. Uh, if you just go to credentials and paths, you'll be able to see this information under the ACC or PCC information tabs. So I'm going to go down. There's some videos you can watch as well there. Uh, but if you hold a level one or level two certificate, you should be on this path. It should cost this much. Uh, your education, mentor coaching, performance evaluation are all completed under a level one or two pathway for the ACC. And for a PCC, if you've completed a full level two training, then your education, mentor coaching, performance evaluation are all completed there. Keep in mind, the performance evaluation is a reference to the recordings that you submit. And if you have done a level one or two, then you submit those to your education institution. If you've done a different pathway, a portfolio path or ACSTH training hours um, pathway, an a la carte training uh, pathway, for instance, um, then you submit those recordings directly to the ICF. So especially to coaches that go through my pro tro uh, program, I'm saying this to them here, uh, you, you are on the level two path with that certificate that you get from me and any other equivalent to coach training for anyone else watching this video. Let's look at the ACC one, and I'm going to, um, you can see some stuff on the sample application, but the question here for this video is, how do you get to that right application? You go down, you, know, you go up, <laughs> sorry, you click apply now, and uh, you can go to this credential path survey. You can click um, ACC is what you're going for. This is the question, right? This is the whole point of the video. You have to read it thoroughly. You, uh, are you using any non-accredited coach training programs or uh, ICF accredited continued education programs? Note, ICF accredited uh, programs, regardless of when they're completed, include ACTP, ACSTH, Level 1, 2, and 3. So this is a, are you using a not? If you are using a not, then click yes. If you are if you are using a fully accredited program, then click no. It is counterintuitive. It is kind of confusing, but uh, this is what, if you, if you hold one of these certificates, click no. <laughs> That's essentially the, the essence of this video. So graduates from my program, you got your level two certificate, click here, click next. Um, yes, in most cases for everyone completing the program, it might be a bit different for my... Uh, a transfer participants. But uh, yeah, if you hold level two certificate, certificate, usually you click that. Uh, you'll click this for the actual level two. Uh, yes, you have completed mentor coaching and performance evaluation if you have completed a full level two. So uh, those would be clicked yes. Then you go down. Um, if you complete a level two, you click this. And uh, for ACC, you at least have to hit the 100-hour requirement. For PCC, you at least have to hit the 500-hour requirement. Again, kind of see their site for more information. Let's just say that we're doing the ACC um, and then create your credential application. Now, I probably shouldn't do that on my own profile, um, but that should be fine. I can click through that. The main point of this video is that when you are going to the um, application, which I do think you can also get it down here too, I can't remember where. Um, but yeah, you go to apply now. Now let's say we're going for the uh, PCC. Uh, so I click this. No, I am not using non-ICF accredited programs or CCEs for my credential. Uh, yes, so I'm clicking no. <laughs> yes, I hold the level two. So this is what to click. Um, then yes, you're using that, it's a level two. 
yes, you've completed mentor coach, and yes, performance evaluation again. Same setup here. Um, and then this is, again, if you've completed my level two, that's you know, minus 144. Uh, and if you're going for PCC and you have the hours, you'd be clicking there, of course, and then you'd create the cleared initial application and click through from there. Uh, okay, that's the main point of the video. It's that one little, that one little question has, I think, caused a little bit of confusion because if you open up the application with misclicking there, you uh, will be invited to uh, complete maybe an ACSTH pathway or portfolio pathway application. If you see that, go back through the survey and click that one correctly uh, with a no. <laughs> Hope this is helpful for uh, such a niche topic. I'm going to add it to my, my content at the last session, but I'll also throw it on LinkedIn. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you for coaching, everybody. See you around.